Hello everybody, I'm Rodstream, and I'm here with Rhythm Doctor. Now it's been a while since I played Rhythm Doctor, almost a month, but I'm ready. I'm back into it, alright? And uh, here's one thing that I realized, right? I was, I was gonna be like, you know, I feel like taking some suggestions, but then I realized, um, I think instead of just like looking through the comments all the time and trying to find custom levels, I think it's just better if I do it the same way how I did it with Adofi, where I just have a Google form sheet that you fill out, and that way your suggestions can be organized in a neat manner, rather than me like basically scanning through all my videos trying to look for the suggestions all over again. So if you did suggest some levels before, just just put them in there, put it in the uh, Google form sheet below, and I will be sure to check them out eventually. All right, don't worry. I, I, there's a lot of suggestions that are piling up, so. Uh, it might take me a while, but for right now, I'm still taking one suggestion, because this is like a level that's been recommended for me for a while to play, and then I just stopped playing Rhythm Doctor after a while, but uh, you'll see what it is, because uh, my friend was really excited for me to play it. But let's, without further ado, let's get started with Set List 2. Alright, so our first custom level for today is Blackberry Jam, composed by Louis Zong and charted by Kyle Lang. This is the first level of Set List 2, and it is a easy level. Which is, you know, a breath of fre nice uh, breath of fresh air since I've been playing a bunch of hard levels in like the previous episodes, and now we're gonna relax a little bit. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm still sick, by the way. Um, actually, have I even mentioned that I was sick in the previous year? I don't think I have actually. But yeah, I'm still coughing a little bit. I don't know. I just got sick. Which is kind of the worst luck ever, since I just got done with putting it on about the test, and then guess what? I get sick. Just my luck, isn't it? It's fine. Nice. I'm enjoying the nice sink right here. Hey, 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 yeah! Alright, that was a nice level to really start off with, holy crap. Wow, very simple, really. I think that's, that's, a, that's a good way to start off for today, you know? Next up, we have Attention, Pentatonics Mix, composed by Charlie Puth, and charted by Alberto Berto and Zeno. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And there we go, let's get started. Another uh, easy level, so you know. You know, get ourselves eased back into uh, Rhythm Doctor. You know, because it's actually been a while, so it's probably a good idea. Ah, god dang it. <laughs> I was worried that those, uh, that Samurai and Haley wasn't, uh, linked. That's fine now. Oh god, I was super early in that, holy crap. Got 
got used to it finally. Sorry though, this fast beat's still really scary in this game, you know? Oh gosh dang it. Oh, okay. 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 Five mistakes. Man, I don't understand. Man, I guess like I guess easier levels are a bit more stricter on the mistakes. But holy crap, man! I got I'll get a B for just five mistakes. I wonder if like maybe it's maybe it was like I barely didn't get a A plus. Like maybe it was like four mistakes and then you get the A plus. I don't know though. All right, next up we have Jiun Sunset, composed by City Girl and charted by Mega Miner Zero. Let's get into it. Another easy level. I think the, um, Setless 2 is a bit more, overall, in its difficulty, it's supposed to be a lot more easier than Set 1, which, hey, I mean, I can appreciate Get. some nice chill levels Get. every once in a while. Yeah. Go! Okay, cool. I got I could have actually gotten the S rank on that actually. A plus. Yep. <laughs> I think I only made one mistake on that one. That was a really nice level though, but I think it was actually a little bit challenging for me though. Because of like it was actually a little bit slow, right? And generally like maps being slow, right? Like generally that's never like a problem in Adelphi, but here in Rhythm Doctor it's actually a bit more challenging because there's still the timing windows are still strict, no matter how uh, fast or slow the uh, the beats incoming are, which I find really interesting. But that was a pretty nice chill level. I really enjoyed it. Also, the song was pretty nice to listen to as well. All right, so fourth up is Proper Rhythm, composed by Peak Divide and charted by CV35W. Let's get started. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm even spamming the press you just like this. Up straight, but without stiffness, and should feel comfortable. 
Don't ever let yourself become tense. Now let's type some more on the home row key. Get set go. Huh? Ooh. Yeah, this is a. Uh... This is definitely a kind of song that has SVT beats. <laughs> I did not know they were linked. <laughs> All right. Get set one. Using I'm pro surprised I did not get early on that. Get set go. Oh, that's one so weird. Okay. Going a little bit too early. Stop. There you go. Got the really slow. On the whole Get way. set. Okay. Stop. Get set. Go. Ah, oh, God. That. Oh, okay. Get set. B plus, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> man, I feel like I keep on messing those up, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm struggling more on D. I don't know. I feel like I'm struggling. I mean, I guess the thing is, is that it's been a while since I played Rhythm Doctor. It's been like three weeks or something, almost a month. So I guess it's understandable that I I'm a little bit rusty right now. Definitely got to, you know, get my mind back to the game, you know. All right, so next up we have Alien Alien, composed by Nayu Talian. And it is a cover by Mafu Mafu, and it is charted by Fartilium Station. So let's get started. It's a normal, so I expect uh, might be a little uh, a bit rough. Seems like a... Definitely. I can't believe I actually got that. <laughs> Oh god, okay. Oh, God. 
Clap though is really satisfying to hit though. I don't like that. A plus. Hey, the A plus. I will certainly take it. Also, I got less mistakes on the normal level than the easy levels. Apparently, that's a little crazy. <laughs> Oh, what a fun level, though. <clears throat> Definitely the song is a bit more on the uh, intense side, you know, which I didn't expect. Because uh, all the songs before it were pretty relaxing compared to this one, but hey, that's fine. And now we are on to the uh, one suggested level that was... Alright, so we have Square, composed by various artists and charted by Ni C-K-O-H. So, here we go. Let's Let's get started. You know... A lot of people really wanted me to... Well, I mean, I guess my friend really wanted me to play this. I shouldn't say a lot of people, because uh, that'd be a little disingenuous. I mean, one commenter from a long time ago really wanted me to play this level, but... I don't even know if they're even at the channel. Oh, the intern's here. Get to work, will you? Okay. Paige, there's some weird readings on the patient. Oh, right? It's been like 15 seconds. Wait, the... You lost connection to the hip bar. Keep hitting head pace on the seventh beat. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get it back. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh no. You just keep hitting on the seventh beat and mark it for the next. Okay. Heat. Two extra beats. Okay, focus. There's still, there's still some bodies. Yeah. Two kids. Oh, is this like a different song? I can't. It's it's his frequency. It's overlapping to the new one's over taking over. Oh god damn it. Alright, don't worry, it's all good though. Do I still hit on X's? Oh, I still do, okay. Oh, this is gonna be the gimmick of the entire level. Okay, this is cool. I can understand why people wanted me to play it now. This, this looks dope so far, though. But this is made by various artists, so I wonder, like, what other twists the, the songs are gonna have. So far, though, this seems a uh, bit simple, but things will probably get a little bit more complicated once we start, uh, you know, getting ourselves situated with the gimmick. It's a little bit 
harder for me to tell when I'm making mistakes, though, since the only way I can tell is by the blue, but, you know, visual effects kind of get in the way, so I can't really tell if I'm actually making mistakes or not, but I just have to trust myself that I'm, you know, doing this properly. Now there are circles, which, I mean, I guess I don't really change anything, to be honest. was a cool level. I really enjoyed that a lot. The gimmick was so cool. And uh, I like how um, the level does like slowly progresses to be more difficult over time, you know? Like in the beginning of the square gimmick, like it's very simple. There's only like one X on like one side, right? But then as you go along, like there's like the, the hits are now like no longer separated. They're like, they're, they're getting into like doubles and triple taps. And then, like, at the end when it's just, like, a bunch of X's. And you basically just have to keep the rhythm steady in your head. Really nice level. I really enjoyed this one. And I'm, I'm really thankful I got to check this one out. And that's really it. I think, yeah, that was uh, six levels, right? Because I don't have any more on this uh, card that I have in front of me. So far, Setlist 2 is looking pretty good. I enjoyed all the levels in Setlist 2 so far. And, uh... So it's going to be a little bit more on the easier side. I do enjoy a bit of relaxation every once in a while. But, uh, yeah. So if you want to put in some custom level suggestions, please put them in the uh, Rhythm Doctor custom level. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but just there's going to probably going to be a Google form down in the description, and then you just, you know, fill out the information. It's going to probably be, like, really similar to the Adofi custom level sheet, but maybe, like, one or two different questions. Anyway, that's really all I have to say. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll see you another day.